I know I got a lot of people that were excited when I started telling them that we were going to bring it over here. Oh, really? So, mm -hmm. so on the ends there, you got them two things that'll flip down. Yep. To cover your paddles, and then these ones here, you just got this little pin here. Okay. So it'll pull down and then flip over. All right. You could run it like that, but it's just it, it might throw too much out. It looks it's better. Like, it looks better, too. yeah, because you got your safety shields on, you know. Yeah. Safety first. Now before the YouTube trolls get out their stakes and their torches, this is a New Holland T7 315, and we are going to be demoing it to cut hay. Now I know some people were pretty sore when we demoed the windrower because what do you need a windrower to mow 30 acres of hay? Well, we do do more than just 30 acres, we do custom work as well. However, I agree, we don't need a windrower, but we wanted to demo it so we knew what it was like to run one and why people like them. So the same idea here. So a while back I was approached by a dealer that sells New Holland equipment and they had asked me if I was interested in running a New Holland tractor. And I said sure, why not? Because I've never driven one before and I'm very interested in doing so just to see whether they would be any better than John Deere or if I would have a personal preference for them. So they brought it down. Now the company that dropped this off, Carl F. Stotts and Sons, uh, hasn't asked me to endorse them in any way. They just said that they wanted to see us running New Holland and share our opinions with it. So I'm not going to endorse them at all. I just am going to share my feelings on New Holland and I'm going to give them credit because obviously they brought this down here for us and if you're gonna do all that, just for us, I'm gonna at least give, give you something in return. So they are out of Wanakee, which is a little bit north of Madison, and I'm not exactly sure how long it took them to get here, but it's about an hour and a half from here uh, if you take the freeway. So it's not that far. Now this tractor has a New Holland 512 and 530 mower on it. So this entire unit is 30 feet wide in length, which is significantly wider than the windrower we had done, so you can really cut down some hay. And uh, our already short amount of time that we're gonna be spending on cutting hay is gonna be cut down even more. So um, yeah, we're gonna take this out and we're going to be using it over the next few days once the weather starts clearing up so that we can start mowing some hay and seeing what it's like to drive a new Holland. And um, I've handled it a little bit, I backed it in the shed, and I have to say that I like the feel of it, it's actually pretty nice on the inside, but I'll know more once I actually get it out and start using it. So I'll uh, keep you guys posted on future videos um, very shortly. I should have some videos out here once the weather clears up, which hopefully should be soon. But um, we got it until the weather does sort itself out, and uh, it should be. I, I'm pretty excited to drive it. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are, even those trolls out there that gave us crap for uh, demoing the Windrower. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, stay in touch, and uh, be sure to check out all our videos and the ones to come. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. So we will see you next time.